Hey guys, what is up? So today, we are going to be installing Windows XP in VirtualBox. Or, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Windows XP Home Edition in VirtualBox. This is not the professional version, this is the Home Edition. So, let's go. First, we're going to go to New. Okay, then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Windows XP Home. And it thinks I'm going to run Windows Me because ME is the name. And I'm going to do Windows XP 32 bit. Okay, next. 192. You can leave it as that. So we can leave it as that. You can change it, but I'm just going to leave it. And finish. Perfect. Now, go to settings. Then, go to display. And then, crank this all the way up. Then go to storage, go to the little disk icon, select this little icon here, and select choose a disk file. I have it, I have the ISO right here. And just like with the Windows 95 and 98 tutorial, I'm going to leave this in the description for you to download so you can have a good experience. Select that and okay now just start it okay so here's the thing in my windows 95 and 98 tutorials i had the the window like this okay but today i'm just going to increase it to this but it doesn't matter because we're going to zoom in anyways. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, it will just say this. And to give you guys a better experience. Now, now. Wait, actually, yes, because then I don't have to do a little zoom in thing. So, to give you guys a better experience, I'm going to scale it to that. There we go. I might change this, but that's okay. So, it'll say this Welcome to Setup. Just press Enter to continue. Then press F8. I agree. Press Enter. And then go up to the top, NTFS file system quick. And now it's going to format the C drive. So I'll let it do that. And now it's going to examine your disks. Then it's going to copy files. Once it's done that, you should see this red progress bar. So all you have to do is just press enter to reboot. Don't press any key when it when it says press any key to boot from CD because that's just going to take you right back there. Okay. So now it's just going to be installing Windows. See here. And the first menu should appear in a second. Okay, so now it's just going to come up with this menu, so just click next, okay, I mean if, if it, if, like, you can, you gotta set your keyboard settings, I think this is it, and, yeah, 
you can change your lo regional language options if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as the default. Now, we need to type our, our full name and organization. Or rather, you can just type your name. It doesn't have to be your full name. It could just be your first name. And you don't have to type your organization either. So just click next. Next. Next, you need a product key. Now, I do have a product key that works with this copy of Windows. So, I'm just going to show you the, the screen with the product key once I'm done typing it in. Okay, here's the product key if you want it. I'm not going to wait for too long as you have a pause button and you can just pause the video. But here it is. Okay, so just click next once you've entered the product key. Now you need to provide a name for the computer. We're just going to call it Windows X WinXP PC, but you can call it whatever you want. You can set the date and time and it, and your time zone. I live in the Atlantic Canada time zone, so it's GMT minus four hours. So just click next once you're done, and it should do every and it should do the rest. Oh yeah, I forgot this about this little networking settings thing. Once this appears, just click typical settings, then click next. Now now just wait okay so it restarted and now this is what you shouldn't be going into the little blue setup again instead if, if it does that you have to eject the CD so just go to this little icon and just eject it And then just press your host key and R to, re to reset it. Then press, and there you go. And it should be booting. And I will now just zoom out of the screen here, probably to 100. That's a little too small, so. Fifty. Then click OK, and then then it should be booted into the little OOBE setup.
XP should be set up. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you're very happy with your new Windows XP installation, so you can experience some nostalgia. Anyways, bye bye